hi guys so in this video i just wanted to go over um, you know how we can process venus um, with a, from a video of uh, venus like this one that you are looking at right now so for capturing this uh, video of venus i have used a, a f5 uh, a six inch newtonian telescope and um, it is using uh, eight mm eyepiece over a 3x barlow and uh, I'm using a Nikon 1J5 uh, mirrorless camera to actually record the footage. I set the uh, ISO to around 400 and the shutter speed is 1 by 100. Uh, so, so we will take a look at how we can process a video like this using uh, PIP, uh, auto stacker and Registax. The video that I've taken is about 73p uh, and uh, if and we can use AstroPip to actually reduce the size because we need to convert this. This is an MOV file, and uh, for it to be processed by uh, AutoStackerd and uh, Registax, it may it need, or Registax, it needs to be converted to an AVI file. I mean, we're converting to AVI file. The size is pretty huge, so it is always better to just use PIP to actually reduce the size to say 150 by 150 or something or like that. Um, so I'll show you how that is done. So the process will be, I will use uh, AstroPip to actually uh, reduce the size of the video, convert it, center Venus in the frame and make it a 150 by 150 video. And that AVI file, we will put it into AutoStackerd um, and use AutoStackerd to stack the frames in that AVI. Then whatever image that we are getting from AutoStackerd, we will use Registax and then correct the image and get to the final image. Of Venus so let's start okay so now we are going to use this software called Astro Pip. Okay, you can download it from the internet and I will leave the link in the description also so what we will do is we will add the video create a, um, a pop-up like this which will show you what the processing um, option will generate for a specific frame we go to this tab called processing options we will select object planetary then we will say enable object detection and detect frames without the object we uh, i'm just going to leave these things by default if you said test detect threshold you can see that the planet is being detected over here and if needed you can adjust it as needed uh, I'm going to say center the object in each frame. This is going to be important because we're going to be cropping it as well. So center the object in each frame. Then I'll say enable cropping and I'm just going to bring this down to 150 because we want a small AVI file. And, um, uh, you know, it is, it's just Venus. Venus is pretty small. Um, it, it will fit in this 150 by 150 pixel in the video that I have. I'm just not going to use resize frames. It's not. Uh, we don't want to resize, we'll keep it at the original size. Okay, so we will test the option. And we can see that we will get the Venus frame like this, which is pretty good. And if you look at the output options, um, I want the AVI. I'm going to leave that as is. And we can come to the do processing and let's say start processing. So uh, PIP has basically generated this AVI file and um, you know, it's basically uh, a long AVI file with uh, uh, Venus that we have captured being centered in the frame. Now what we will do is we will input this into auto stack code to generate the initial stacked image. So Now we are going to open the file in AutoStackCut. Okay, so this basically will share 
um, uh, this will basically will um, show this file in the other window and we can go frame by frame if needed but usually catch me I think I'll go over frame by frame so that looks good to me and uh, I'm just going to click this button called analyze and in this window we will have this option called place ap grid so you can select the frame that you want i had already selected the frame and then we can say place ap grid and i've selected the size as 24 and it will automatically place plays a grid for us after that we can basically do the stacking so for the stacking options i'm just going to choose the output option as a tiff file I'm going to say I want 30% of the frames to be stacked and uh, I'm not going to normalize the stack. I don't want the sharpened image that will generate an additional image which is sharpened uh, by default but I think um, I'm just going to keep these settings and I'll go ahead and stack it. So this is basically the stacked image uh, which has been generated by auto stack cut. Now we will put, uh, use this image as an input in Registax and then we can see what we can come up with from there. So this is the Registax version 6. I'm going to select the image file which was generated by the process just now. And it was a TIFF file that we generated. Let me select that. I will say no for stretching intensity. Now we have uh, the image of Venus here. And one of the main things that we can see is basically the fringe. Because we have magnified so much um, and Venus is so bright. Uh, it's pretty clear uh, th that there's a fr uh, fringe like with the red on top, blue on the bottom. Registracts. So the first thing that we will do is to correct this because obviously this is not the right uh, view of Venus. So to do that, we will choose this option called RGB align. So in RGB align, I'm just going to move this here, and I also want to view this zoomed. So. It will be there, and I'm just going to uh, use this button called estimate, and that will automatically set it. If you want, you can play around with these values and mo try to move the individual, the uh, red and uh, blue frames individually. But I'm just going to say estimate, and it is immediately corrected. You can see that it has become a white image of a Venus. So the fringe has been corrected by moving the individual red, green, and blue uh, and aligning it automatically so now we can go ahead and um, say do some adjustments here so that it's a sharper image and we can see that it's getting sharper than what this was before and you can see look at the zoomed one so basically it is sharper. I don't want to go all that. I think I'll just leave it at this. Because if you look at the unzoomed image, if you look at the unzoomed one, it is looking good enough, I think. Now we can bring up the histogram and we can adjust the histogram. You can see it becoming brighter. Right.
you can play around with that if you want and there are other options over here that you can try and i think that looks good so we can do all and save this image and that's it so i hope you found this useful and um, if you did uh, please do uh, like and like the video and uh, subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate it and uh, i will continue to share some more videos like this so thanks thanks a lot for watching please guys